Hello and welcome back to Boxers Shorts. Today we are going to be doing an incredibly tricky topic called reacting masses. So I remind you before we get started, phone off. Any tabs you've got, close them. You'll need a periodic table, you'll need a calculator and the booklet that we have linked in the comments will be helpful to you as well. Now, like I said, it's a difficult one um, and it relies heavily on the videos that come before this in quantitative chemistry. If you've not watched those videos, you are really going to struggle. So I do recommend if you haven't done them, just stop this right now, go back, watch those videos first. Let's get started. So we get a question that looks a bit like this. I'll let you read it for a sec. All right, so looking at that, I know that I've got lithium and I've got oxygen and I'm making lithium oxide. And I know that I'm reacting 45 grams of this with oxygen here to make lithium oxide over there. And the question is what mass of lithium oxide is produced? Now looking at that, I don't really, I don't really know what to do. Fortunately for you guys, I have a lovely step-by-step -step method. The first step, and you don't need to take any notes at all while I'm doing this, by the way, because I'm going to give you it as a really beautiful typed up step by step in just a second. So my first step is always the same. Step one is always balance. So I'm a chemist and whenever I see an equation that looks like this, I just, I've just got to balance it. If you don't remember how to balance equations, I've got a video for you. Just go uh, and search into your toolbar and just write boxes, shorts, balancing equations, and then you'll find that. So I'm just going to quickly balance this by putting a two over there and by putting a four over here. Now, step two is the one that a lot of people um, don't know or use, but for me, it's the most important one. I call it identify the starter and ender. Okay, so starter is a word, ender is not, but I think you probably get the point. Starter is the thing you start with and ender is the thing you finish with, you end with. So starter here is the thing that I've got information about. So if I look in the question, it tells me I've got 45 grams of lithium. That is going to be my starter. So I'm going to circle it and I'm going to write starter like that. The question wants me to work out the mass of lithium oxide. So that's this. It wants me to work out the mass of lithium oxide. So that is going to be my ender. It is vital that you do this step because students often mix things up. Essentially, in this question, this is not important anymore. So if you don't identify your starters and enders, you end up messing up steps, and you end up uh, kind of uh, losing track of what you're supposed to be working out. So that's done. Step three is work out the moles of starter. Oh, sorry, that shouldn't have been zoomed out. There we go. It's to work out the moles of starter. Now, to work out moles of anything, we use a specific formula. I would like you on a sheet of paper that's in front of you, you should have one out in front of you, to write down the equation for working out moles. Okay, so your equation for working out moles, you should have written down moles equals mass over MR. If you do not recognize this equation, stop the video right now and go back to the start of this series of quantitative chemistry. If you are not familiar with this, you have to go back to the previous video because that's what it relies on. And if you don't understand this, then there is no point in you carrying on with the video. So in this case, what are my mass and what are my MR? What I would like you to do is calculate the mass, sorry, not calculate the mass, figure out the mass based on the question because it's given it to you and figure out the MR as well using your periodic table. So in the question, it tells us what the mass is, which is 45. And we divide that by the MR of lithium, which is seven. I get my calculator out. Uh, there's my calculator. Move that out, and I go 45 
divided by seven, and that gives me this thing, six point, uh, let's just go for four, three. The calculator keeps vanishing as soon as I write, which is really annoying. I need to work out how to do that. If you want, you can keep more decimal places in the question. You know, throughout this video, we're not going to worry too much. We're not going to stress out too much about decimal places. Later on, we will, but for the minute, we're just getting the hang of things. Number four is your ratio. Now, in this case, it's the ratio starter to ender. So my starter is lithium. My ender is Li2O, and my ratio is 4 to 2. Now, my moles of starter are here, 6.43, and I can use that to work out the moles of ender. And so I'm going to write my step 5 here as moles of ender. If you do not know how to manipulate this ratio, you have to go back to the previous video where I go over how I manipulate ratios. There are plenty of different ways to do this. The way that I do it is I say, right, well, 6.43, that's my target. And we spoke about that in the last lesson. So that goes over here, 6.43. In order to get from 4 to 6.43, I divide by 4 to get 1. And then I times by 6.43. I have to do the same thing over here. So I divide to by 4 and I get 0.5 and I multiply by 6.43 and I get my trusty calculator out and I do this whatever it is times by so this number multiplied by 0.5 and that gives me 3.214 now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little note to that because I've worked out now I've got 3.214 moles Li2O. My final step then is to work out mass of ender. If I've got my moles of ender, how do I work out the mass? So we go to this equation and as we discussed in a previous video, we do mass equals what? Write it down, please. So I'm hoping you wrote down mass equals, and if you've not done it yet, do it now, come on. Mass equals moles times MR, or you can substitute the numbers and then rearrange. Either is fine for the minute, which in this case is three, sorry, that came out badly, is 3.214 multiplied by the MR of Li2O up here at the top of the screen, multiplied by the MR of Li2O. So let's do that separately. And I'd like you to work that out for yourself, please. If you need a minute, pause your video. So I've got two lithiums, so I need two lots of seven plus one oxygen which is 16 and i'll calculate that up so two lots of seven is 14 plus 16 gives me 30 so i times this number by 30 sorry there it is where's my calculator gone so i do again this number multiplied by 30 I'll round it to say one decimal place and that'll give me 96.4 grams. And that's done. That gets me three marks in an exam. Now, don't worry too much about getting this down as a note because handily for you, we have another example and I've written out the step-by-step -step really neatly, really clearly. So you don't need to worry about writing this one down because you can just get it from here. So if you want to pause your screen now and write down the step-by-step, -step, you should do so. Pause your screen now, write down the step-by-step. -step. Okay, you're now listening to my voice, which means you've written down the step-by-step. -step. It's really important that you use the step-by-step. -step. If you don't use 
the step by step, then I guarantee you will make mistakes. So let's balance the equation. So I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to put a two over there and a two over there. That was step one. I need to identify my starter and my ender. See if you can do that for me. I'll tell you what, sorry, let me be clear. Write out the equation for me in front of you and then identify the starter and the ender. So pause, write out the equation, identify the starter, identify the ender. Okay, so you should only be listening to me now if you've had a go at identifying the starter and the ender. So my calculate how much magnesium oxide is produced from that much magnesium. So I've got 13.6 grams of magnesium. So that has to be my starter. Okay, so this here is my starter. And then it wants me to work out, it says calculate how much magnesium oxide is produced. Okay, so that's going to be, sorry, that's going to be my ender. And that's not going to give me that lovely circle because I had to do it in two goes. What a shame. So that's going to be my starter. That's going to be my ender. So what have I done? I've balanced the equation. Check. I've identified the start and the ender. Check. All right. Time to work out the moles of starter. See if you can do that for me, please. Pause your video and do that for me. So you should only be listening to my voice if you've done this now, if you've worked out the moles of the starter. We do moles equals mass over MR, which in this case is 13.6 divided by the MR of magnesium. So you get your periodic table, you go across the magnesium, you see there's 24, you get your calculator, you do 13.6 divided by 24, and that gives you that horrible number. So I'll just write 0 0.567, just for the sake of rounding. So I've now done my moles of starter. Bingo. Time for my ratio. So here I've got mg, so I'll just write in ratio so it's really clear. I've got mg to mgo, and it's 2 to 2, which is the same as 1 to 1, which is the best kind of ratio to deal with. So I've written out my ratio, and now I need to work out the moles of the ender. So if this is the mole of my starter, this is also the mole of my ender. So that's now done. I now need to work out the mass of ender, this one, for which we do moles times MR. And again, there's nothing in this that you've not done before. So what I would like you to do is plug in the numbers to that and calculate it. So you should have your moles is 0.567, and you should have got an MR of, uh, well, MG is 24, and oxygen is 16, so that looks like it will give me 40. If you don't know how I got this 40, I'm not going over it now, because I did an entire video on where that number comes from. So I'm not going over it now. If you don't know where I got it from, go back, do the video. And I calculate that using my trusty calculator. And I'm going to do that number multiplied by 40, and that gives me 22.67 grams. And that there, I'll put a nice box around it. That there is your answer, gets you three marks in exam. Bing, bang, bosh. Pause the video and get this one down as an example as well. The more worked examples you have, the better, because what you do is when you start practicing, you'll be able to uh, go back to them to help you. So pause your video and get this down. Okay, you should only be listening to my voice now if you've copied down that worked example. And we're gonna have a look at another one. So this looks very, very similar to what we had before. I've got an equation, I've got some messes. I do wanna use my step-by-step, -step, so let's see if I can just pull it down. 
Can I pull that down? Yep. You notice I've got some new toys, which I'm really enjoying. Okay, and I can get rid of those ticks, lovely. Right, so there's your question. Here's your step-by-step. -step. Why don't you have a go at doing it yourself? What I'd like you to do is have a go at doing that yourself, following the step-by-step. -step. If you're really not sure, just listen to my voice until you think you get it, at which point you can start moving your head. You can pause and start moving your head. So if you think you know how to do it, just get on with it. Pause the video, get on with it. If you don't know how to do it, listen to me. And then as soon as you think you've got it, pause the video and go for it. So first off, I need to balance the equation. In this case, by putting a three over there and a two over there. And again, there's an entire video on that, so I'm not going over it. I need to identify the start and the ender. So here it says I've got 20 grams of nitrogen. So that's going to be my starter. And it wants me to know what mass of hydrogen is required. So this is the first point at which some of you may have gone wrong. This here is my ender. Because the question says what mass of hydrogen is required. It doesn't say what mass of ammonia is produced. It says what mass of hydrogen is required. So that's this. So I've got my starter and I've got my ender. And again, if you think at this point now you're ready to keep going by yourself, just pause the video and go for it. If, by the way, you did this whole thing thinking that this was the ender, that's wrong. So stop the video and do it again, but using this as the ender. Right? I don't want you just sitting back and watching me do it. There's not much point in that. So I've identified my starter and my ender, and I need to do my moles of starter. So for here I've got the mass over MR, so that's 20, divided by the MR of N2, which is going to be 28. And again, I'm not going over how I calculated that. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to write it out really clearly that I've done mass over MR, which is uh, 20 over 28, which using the calculator gives me 0 0.714, etc. OK, that's the moles. Now I need to do the ratio. So I've got N2 to H2, which is 1 to 3. Now I need to work out the moles of the ender, which is this, the hydrogen. So I go, uh, I need to get this down there. 0.714 goes over here. And to get to that, I've just multiplied by three. So I need to do, uh, sorry, not nonsense. I've not multiplied it by three. Sorry. I've divided by one and I've multiplied by 0.714. So I was confusing myself. So I do the same thing over here, divide by one, which is very boring, and then times by 0.714. Where's my calculator? Here it is. So I do that times three. And that gives me 2.14, etc. That's my moles of ender. So moles H2. What's the mass? in this case is going to be 2.14 yada yada times by the MR of hydrogen which you should have calculated as 2 and that equals 4.29 let's go for and that there is done now one really common point of error for students is to not write the MR of hydrogen here as two, but to write it as six, because there's a three and a two. It's really important that you don't do that. You need to use this three, but you can see you've used it already in the ratio. So you only ever use it once. If you start you know, adding that three in again here, then you've multiplied it by too much, and you get a number that's too big. 
So you only use that number once. Don't use it twice. So you use it once in the ratio step and never again. If you got that correct, you have smashed it out of the park. Well done. You're ready to move on. If you didn't, I suggest you go back in the video, try it again for yourself, right? So scrub out all your notes, try again for yourself until you get that number. Now I've got some questions for you to do here. I don't want you to start them yet. I just want you to listen to me. So I've given you an equation for each question. And for these ones, I've written show that. So essentially I've given you the answer, right? So this here is your starter and this here is the answer. That's what you're aiming for, right? So what I'll do for the first two is I'll identify the starter and the ender for you. Lithium here is your starter. And it says it produces approximately 115 grams of lithium fluoride. And that means that this here is your ender. Okay. This is going to be the answer. All right. So you shouldn't be trying to calculate stuff with that. That's the answer that you're aiming for. Okay, I've said show that this does this. So this is what you're aiming for as your answer. If you get close to that as your answer, well done. If you didn't get close to that as your answer, go back in your working and check out. But you shouldn't be using this in your calculation at all. If you're feeling ready, go for it. So for each one, you want to, sorry, I've just, uh, let me move this circle out of the way a bit. There we go. No, no, fail, fail whatever you get the point I'll get rid of the circle that's the answer right here okay this is the answer so for each one you want to aim for the answer which here is 123 uh, and here is 150 grams that's your answer that's what you're aiming for so have a go at those pause the video and do those now okay if you've done all of those and got them right well done if you've not got them right go back to your worked examples I guarantee you it's probably because you didn't follow the step by step properly. Make sure you're writing the step by step each time. Once you've done all of those, here is some more for you to try, but here I haven't given you the answer. So pause the video, do these, then press play. Okay, so you should only be listening to my voice if you have done those. Here are the answers. So you can mark your work. If you got those right, you smashed it, well done. If you've not got them right, well, you've now got the answers. You should go back, look at your working, try and figure out where you went wrong. The most common errors are not correctly identifying the starter and the ender. Uh, and then for, at the end, um, multiplying the MR by the number that comes before the symbol. So don't do that like we spoke about earlier. If you got those right, well done. You have smashed it. If you figured out where you went wrong, that's good as well. Top job. Like I said, this has been incredibly, uh, this is an incredibly tricky part of the course. So well done uh, for making it through the video. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video again soon. And remember that you can subscribe and request topics if you so choose.